Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. You eat pork, mate? You Would you eat beef, mate? Yeah. Turkey, mate? Yeah. What's this, read. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swan, though he divided the hook. What's the swan? The pig. So the Lord, because when you read Leviticus 11, it gives us our dietary laws. What we should eat and what we shouldn't eat. We gotta read the Bible. So the Lord is mentioning the swan. Read it again. And the swan, though he divided the hook and be cloven footed, that he too is not the cuss. So the Lord is describing what the pig looks like. That's a curse. You understand? We're going to show you how to get out of these curses. Come on. And curse shall thou be in the field. So the field was going to we labor for free, right? We pick cotton for free. Today we got jobs, right? What is what is the field going to our jobs today? We get the what? Worst jobs out Lower paid wages. Lower pay wages. You on point, bro. We still going through these curses today as a people. You understand that? Give me one more curse, and we're gonna get some commandments. Now remember, he said if we break. I want to get your commandment. Remember, the two more verses. Sixty-eight. How did our people get over here? By boat. By boat. What's this? Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight and verse sixty-eight. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with sin. With what? With sin. God is gonna bring us into slavery again on ships. Watch this. Watch this. He's gonna tell us more. Read. Right? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We are not going to see our homeland as a nation. You understand that? We are not going to see our homeland, which is Israel. We are from Israel. Come on. And there you shall be sold. And once we get off the slave ship, it says, and there you shall be what? Ye shall be sold. Did you get a flyer? No. Well, hey, somebody give him a flyer. So give him a flyer. I want to show you some of this flyer. Read that part again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. It says, and there ye shall be sold. What are they doing to us on that flight? Another one of them damn pipes. They selling us on the auction blocks. Look at these signs right here, brother. They selling us. The blacks and the so-called Native Americans. We are the Israelites. God says, once we get off those slave ships, we was going to be sold unto who? Unto your enemy. Unto your friend. Unto your enemy. So, brother. Oh, hell Hear me, right? Yeah, like Henry, who sold us? The white man. Read that part again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. Who sold us? The white man. The who, he's the enemy. Yeah. Guess what? We are not a, we are not our people's enemy. We are not the enemy. The white man is the true enemy. Now let me say this to you. We're not telling you this to go commit violence against anyone. We do not advocate violence. We do not condone violence. Keep the commandments. That's what we come to teach our people. But the enemy is the white man. He the one sold our people. He raped our wives and our children and broke us up as families. God called them the enemy. You understand? Give me a commandment. You mean pork? Are you there? You divorced. Do you deal with a woman? Yo, girl, you ain't got no woman. Come on, fellas. What about you? You married? Okay. You eat pork? I gotta get your commandment before you leave. So now, remember, we went into slavery because we did what wrong? We did what? We broke what? We broke the commandment. This is a simple command. You eat, you eat pork. You like bacon. Okay. You eat beef bacon. You eat pork bacon. You would you eat beef bacon? Yeah. Turkey bacon. Yeah. What's this? Read. Leviticus chapter eleven and verse seven. And the swan, though he divided the hook. What's the swan? The pig. So the Lord, because when you read Leviticus 11, it gives us our dietary laws. What we should eat and what we shouldn't eat. We gotta read the Bible. So the Lord is mentioned in the swan. Read it again. And the swan, though he divided the hook and be cloven footed, 
that he chewed not the cup. So the Lord is describing what the pig looks like. He's saying he divided the hoof. When you look at a pig's yeah. feet, it got that hoof there, yeah. right? Yeah. It says, and be clothed footed, meaning he got a hard hoof at the bottom of his foot. So the Lord is telling you how this animal looks. Read it again. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. When he said he cheweth not the cud, meaning he don't eat, he don't have a proper digestive system like a cow. The pig don't chew his food, regurgitate it, chew it again, and swallow it into another stomach so it can get broken down and, and uh, it can be cleansed, the food. You understand? Because when you look up a cow, a cow got how many stomachs? Two. Got four. 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 So he can digest his food properly. You understand that? It, it, the cow, so it goes through a system. He chews it, it goes into one stomach, he spits it up, go into a nut. So it's a, it's a system that cleans the food that he's eating. Right? Read. Yet he chewed not the cud. He is unclean to you. What did the Lord say about the pig? He is unclean to you. So the Lord said, what about the pork? The pork is what? It's unclean. It's unclean. Read on. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Of their what? Of their flesh ye shall not eat. So God says, don't eat the pork. That's an easy commandment. You know why I actually do you like turkey bacon and beef bacon? Because guess what? It's not hard to stop eating pork. If you like bacon, eat beef bacon. Beef is clean. Eat turkey bacon. Turkey is clean. You understand that? That's an easy commandment to keep. You don't keep God's commandments? Watch this. Read on. And their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. So now the Lord is going to talk about the things that are in the water. What we should eat. Like shrimp, crab, lobster. You eat those things? What about catfish? You eat it? What about catfish? You eat catfish. Watch this. Read it again. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the water. In the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So he said, whatever have fins and scales, you know that, right? So the, the fish that got scales and fins on it, you shall eat. Now, do catfish got fins and scales? No. So can you eat it? You can't eat it. I know, hey, look, bro. Hey, listen, listen, bro. Listen, it's easy. Man. That's how we, I know, it, I know it was good, bro. It was good to me, too. But when, I, when the brothers came and showed me these commandments, I say, I love God. I didn't know this was in there. You understand? I, we all, uh, our people don't know. You understand? We don't know. We didn't know because we lost our, na part of us knowing our nationality also is God's commandments. You understand that the Lord took that away from us and allowed us to serve other gods, false gods that would not help us. You understand? Why? Because we were disobedient. The Lord did many wonders and many things for our people and we disobeyed. Read that again. Verse 9. Verse, verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water, whatsoever hath fins and scales in the water, in the sea, and in the rivers. Then shall ye eat. So you gotta change. Give me that repentance real quick, and uh, uh, you know, I'll ask you real quick. Okay. So now, this is the last scripture. So you gotta give up pork. You gotta give up uh, what? Catfish, shrimp, crab, and lot. It's easy, bro. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Is you. And finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord!